OK, we're going to integrate x times e to the 2x all over parentheses with 1 plus 2x inside and then raised to a second power. In fact, I've done this integral in the past, but this time I will do this legitimately, all right? So I'll do it from scratch and show you guys all the technical legitimate steps and all the stuff. OK, so first deal, as we can see, we have a fraction and also we have an exponential, right? And this, is, this part wise is a rational function. And it's just pretty crazy. Can we do it by U substitution? I don't think so, right? And trick sub wouldn't be a good idea neither. And because right here we have e to the 2x, we cannot do partial fraction neither, right? Hmm. So what other techniques do we have? Well, let's look at it this way. If you look at the top and bottom separately, we can look at this integral as. Let me put on the top first x times e to the 2x times, and let me just write it as 1 over parentheses 1 plus 2x squared dx, like this. Let's look at this separately, all right? And the reason for me to do that is because, you see, this part and that part, if you just focus on this part, do we know how to integrate this? Yes, right? And in fact, we also know how to integrate this as well. But once I break that integral into two parts, as long as I know how to integrate one part, and the other part, I can just differentiate it. That means I can just do the integration by parts, right? And of course, I will show you guys with the DI method. So let's see. Let me put it down on the side right here. Yes, I got my red chalk today, right? So D stands for to be differentiated, and I stands for to be integrated. And don't forget to put a plus minus on the side. Let's differentiate what? This. Yeah? Because if you want to integrate this part, <laughs> you actually have to do integration by parts again. So I will have to differentiate this right here. So x times e to the 2x. And let's go ahead and integrate this part right here, right? 1 over parentheses 1 plus 2x raised to the second power. So as you can see, we break that integral into two parts. And now let's just do the typical work. This right here, differentiate this. This is the product, so we have to use the product rule. So let's go right here, first one, right? Times the derivative second. e to the 2x is the same as e to the 2x, and then you multiply by 2 because the chain rule says so, right? So you have to multiply by this 2. And then you are going to add the second part, which is e to the 2x times the derivative of the first, which is just 1, right? So that's what we have. And as you can see right here, this is what we have, right? That's the differentiation for this. And we do have e to the 2x in both terms. We can factor that out. So in other words, you can look at this as e to the 2x times 2x plus 1, right? So this right here, it's the derivative of that. And now let's integrate this guy, 1 over 1 plus 2x and then to a second power. And to make this super clear, why don't I use another board and just show you guys the use substitution real quick, all right? So real quick, let's integrate 1 over parentheses 1 plus 2x squared dx. And we have to do u sub, right? So let's say u equal the inside, which is 1 plus 2x. And you see du is equal to 2 dx. And then divide both sides by 2, you know dx equal 1 over 2 du, like this. So if you take this integral into the u world, you'll see this is the integral 1 over, this is the u, and then you have the square. So we have u squared in the denominator like this. And then the dx is the same as 1 half du. So let's put that down right here, 1 half du. And you know the usual deal, we can put the 1 half to the front, right? So this is 1 half like this. And then this is the integral. 1 over u to a second power, that's ready as u to the negative 2. And then this is du. And now we can integrate this guy, right? So we add 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, and we have to divide it by negative 1. So let's go ahead and put this down right here. 1 over negative 1, like that. So all in all, this is going to give us negative 1 half, and then the result of this is just u to the new power, which is negative 1. You don't have to worry about the plus c because we're just in the middle of the integration, right? So this is the same as saying 1. Well, let's put a negative on the top. Negative 1 over 2 on the bottom u to the negative 1 power is the same as u on the bottom. And at the end, we can write this as negative 1 over 2. And the u was that, so I put a parenthesis, and we have that 1 plus 2x like this. All right? So this is the result of that. And I will just have to put this down right here for you guys. 
So let me just erase this a little bit. I'll move this a little bit. So i was 1 over 1 plus 2x squared. When you integrate this, you get this for the answer, right? So let me just copy that down, which is negative 1 over 2 times 1 plus 2x. Just like this, all right? Cool. And now, how does the di matter go? Well, remember, the product of the diagonal is the first part of the answer already. So let's put that down right here. I guess that you guys cannot see equal sign, so I'll try to make it longer like that. Still didn't work, but how about now? Okay, better. <laughs> All right, so this times that is the first part of the answer. Uh, I will just put this down on the top. This is negative though, so we have negative x e to the 2x over 2 and that, right? So we just put this down as 2 times 1 plus 2x like this. Okay? And then remember the product of each row. I will just take the product like this. Because right here, I can factor out the e to the 2x. This is negative e to the 2x times this. And multiply with that, the product of the second row, it is still an integral. First of all, notice we have negative times negative, so we will have a plus. And let me just make this super clear. We will have another integral, the product of this and that, right? So let me write this down first. Let me just make this stand out a little bit better, but I'll put this down in red e to the 2x times 2x plus 1, all right? And then I'll multiply this. This negative was the come for neg this negative already. That's how we get the positive. So we just have 1 on the top over 2, parentheses, 1 plus 2x, like this, all right? And now what? As you can see, this factor and that factor are exactly the same. The word of addition doesn't matter, so we can just cancel them out. And this one, it's actually, we can just totally do it, right? So, let's see, this is negative x e to the 2x over 2 parentheses 1 plus 2x. And then, we will just have to add, and this is 1 half, let's take it to the front, and then this integral of e to the 2x dx, right? And what's the integral of e to the 2x? Well, you know the function part stays the same, e to the 2x, but then, because the derivative of 2x is 2, when you do the integral of this, you have to divide it by that, right? So it's the same as multiplied by 1 half. And now you see, 1 half times 1 half, we get 1 over 4. So I will have used the last board right here, right? So it's like this. Okay, so we will have, this is going to be that, which is negative x e to the 2x over 2 times 1 plus 2x. And then 1 half times 1 half is plus 1 over 4, and then we just have e to the 2x, right? So this is pretty much it. However, if you are looking for the answer in the back of the book or whatsoever, they want to combine the fractions, right? So to do that, what we are going to do is just get the common denominator. The denominator here is 2 times this, the denominator here is just 4, right? So for this one, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 2. So let me do it right here. Let me do it like that, all right? So I can get a 4 that I need to match right here. For this one, let me just put the e to the 2x on the top for you guys. It is a lot of fun to just write with chalks because you can erase it with your hand. I just put the e to the 2x on the top, and you see we have the 4 match right here. I need to have this, right? So let's go ahead and multiply 1 plus. 2x on the bottom and also on the top, all right? That's cool. And now, the denominators are the same, so I will just write it down as a one big fraction. Altogether is 4 times 1 plus 2x, right? This one is negative 2x, e to the 2x. And then, of course, we can just distribute this a little bit. So this is e to the 2x, so let me just put it down as plus e to the 2x, and this times that is plus 2x e to the 2x, right? And what do we see? This and that are exactly the same, but opposite sides, so we can cancel, cancel. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, the final answer is going to be this on the top, e to the 2x over 4 on the bottom, along with 1 plus 2x as well. 
and we are all done. So at the end, you put down the plus C, and this right here is it, right? And you can also check out my previous video on how I did the same exact integral but different way. This is the more legitimate way to do it, with integration by parts. And the deal is that, as you can see, if you want to differentiate this, you have to use the quotient rule, right? And when you differentiate this, in fact, you will end up with that, right? You end up with that. And remember, integration by parts is to undo the product rule. And product and quotient are pretty much the same thing. Therefore, when you have an expression right here that requires the quotient rule for us to do the derivative, if you end up with that, you will have to do integration by part for that in order to get back the answer. Anyway, that's it.